Hey, it's Clay Turner, and this will be a live trade video here. Market opened up about three minutes ago. Um, reason I'm a little late is I had to cover an options position I had on, so I'm already up on the day 160 thanks to an earnings trade option. Uh, but let's see if I can capture some uh, normal stock trading, so I will keep you updated. Okay, I have an order in to short some shares, just the opening position at 28.69 here on ATVI. So we'll see if I can get up there and get those filled. We'll see what happens. Okay, it's getting up closer to that area, up oh, and then back down at shot. So it's trying to get up there. Okay, change my order to, wow, this thing is jumpy. Change it up to 89, and it was getting closer to there, but that fast it jumped back down. So uh, I'm gonna try my best to get it captured here. So let's see if it can get up there to 89 or not. Like I said, this one's very jumpy. So I'll try my best. All right, I currently have three fishing orders out there on CERN, Fox A, and Kate. So I'm uh, I'm trying to get some sort of entries here, but I'm not gonna force anything just for the sake of forcing it. So I'm working on it. It is 9.47 a.m. If you've ever watched any of my other past videos, sometimes I'm up uh, you know, well into the green by now. And at this point, I am up nothing. Um, I don't really consider the uh, options trade for 160 uh, um, necessarily for today's profit since that was a one night hold type thing but as far as you know trading today and i am trying i wish i could say well i'm kind of off playing with my daughter or i'm just kind of hanging around the house no i am uh being fully focused trying to get but i just cannot get filled so sometimes these mornings happen um i wish every morning was like some of the other videos where things just come out and uh you know it's you're in the green very quickly um but uh, it sometimes it just happens like this. So I'm gonna keep on recording. I'll, I'll try to try something. The day is still young, only 18 minutes in, um, but I just cannot get any fills. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right, going for some shares here at 50.99, looking like I might have a chance of uh, FSLR. So let's see uh, if I can get those up there. I really don't like this slow creeping, so what I'm gonna do is adjust to my first entry point at 51.15. Try some four more right there, so I'm gonna to try to take advantage of a bigger move up, so let's see if uh, I can get those. I would be in right now, but like I said, I thought it was gonna push through. So let's see. I said I would have been in by now. I'd be looking to cover my first shares at 50, not yet. So I should have stuck with that plan. That's what I get for uh, second guess myself. But then all of a sudden we have the break there. So let's see. Uh, let's see what happens. So let's make it. We're getting a little surge of energy here. So let's see if I can get those at 25. Okay, good. I'm in right there. Perfect. Let's see if I can get some more to build up some sort of position size. I got 68 of those. Okay, so I'm all in now, this is good. Let's see if I can get some more shares here. My average is at 32. So let's see if I can get some more up there, that'd be perfect. Still trying to see if I can get some fills up there at 60. Did not happen. Okay, so I got those now. My average is looking better. Like I said, this was a goal. That's why I wanted to start off small. My average now is at 40. So I'm just throwing out some buy orders in the event that I get some sort of pullback in my favor. So there we got some of, some of them off there. So I still have a thousand shares left though. So I still have more shares left that I'm just trying to get out if it wants to keep pulling back. Uh, 
and I think I'm just going to bow out here. So there is that trade there for 199. Was hoping it pushed up a little bit further so I could have gotten some more shares. Uh, but strong move, no doubt. I don't want to get caught in the consolidation pattern here of some uh, bull pennant or bull flag. Uh, but I do wish it had pushed up a little bit more so I've gotten uh, a few more shares. But uh, it is what it is. But there we go. Finally caught a trade. Let's see what else I can find. While I'm thinking of it, I do like to uh, address this just because it seems like uh, people are finding it very helpful. But uh, the big question I always get is, hey, Clay, how are you finding these stocks that you're trading in the live videos or just in general? Uh, so what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I just list out uh, the, the tools that I'm using. Uh, it's a one page thing, so it's not some you know multiple page uh, you know, guy that's going to take you weeks and hours and months to read or anything like that. Just one page, very straight and to the point. Uh, it is totally free. Uh, you got to do a sign up for it and then I will email it to you. So if you think, uh, you know, this could add any sort of value to you as a trader, uh, then by all means sign up for it and I will uh, email you this guide. Again, it just goes over the tools that I'm using to find uh, the different trade setups that I like to, uh, to try to uh, make money from. Well, I'm going to try to give FSLR another uh, go around. If it can get up to 52.25, that'll be my first entry point just like I did in the 51s. So uh, we'll see what happens. First needs to break the round number of 52. So uh, let's see if I can capture it on video, just see if it can break. So there's the break. Let's see if it can push up to 52.25 or not. I will keep you updated. Well, I was looking back at the times of my other videos in the past, I don't know, three or four have all been over 10 minutes. So I decided, you know what, I'll just make this one short. And it's also 10.07 a.m., so I need to uh, start to work on some other things here. Um, so just wrapping it up, a, a pretty slow morning. I don't want to come across as ungrateful, uh, $199. Um, so I'll still take it, you know, not even hours worth of quote unquote work. Uh, but as you saw, it just was a morning of couldn't quite get anything filled. And, uh, you know, I finally got a trade that worked out, but it just wasn't an ideal morning. Um, I, I struggled in the sense of, you know, getting or getting into trades. But, you know, as traders, we can't just get into trades for the sake of getting into trades. They need to follow our system and our strategy and our plan of what we want to see uh, happen. And uh, eventually the patience paid off as FSLR came along. But all in all, it uh, was just a, a, a pretty rough morning. So it is what it is, though. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. Get out there. Trade without emotion.